All right, Gun Collector 007 here with the review on one of the most beautiful knives I've ever purchased. And uh, this is by Almar Knives, The Warrior's Edge. Uh, and this one, like the title says, is the Falcon Knife. So as you'll see in a minute, um, this is a, a style of knife uh, from what they call the Honey Jig Bone Collection. And they make something called an Eagle, a Hawk, and a Falcon. This one's right in the middle size-wise. And to me, it's absolutely stunning. So let's take a look at this. This knife's been around a really long time. I've seen uh, videos on it. I just uh, never bought it, but uh, I did the other day. So let's see, it comes with uh, some instructions and all that kind of stuff. Well, if you don't know how to work a knife, I can't help you with that. But anyway, so it comes with uh, that. Um, it does come with this nice leather pouch. So that's cool. And the reason it comes with the pouch is because there's no pocket clip on this particular knife. And uh, so you put it in this nice leather pouch. So while we have it here, let's open up this nice leather pouch and see what that looks like. Okay, so we get rid of this little uh, humida, humidifier, whatever it is, dehumidifier. And you can see it's a little design on there. Almar, I guess, is the design. All leather, very nice, light color. So maybe I have to stretch that open a little bit. So this is meant to like fit inside a, uh, a back pocket, front pocket, pocket, inside jacket pocket, whatever. And uh, you put it in that pouch. Now, let's just take a gander at that knife. And to me, that is literally stunning. So let's take a look at this. Uh, let's get this crap out of the way. So this one, like I said, is the Falcon model. Uh, it's the middle of the road. I think the Hawk is the smallest one. Then comes the Falcon, and then the Eagle is the larger one. I might even buy the Eagle one just because uh, maybe I'll buy the Hawk too. So I have all three of them. Who knows? Probably. Um, but as you can see, without even opening up, I mean, that is like stunning. I hope the camera is doing it justice. Uh, it's got the little Almar Knives uh, logo on it. This has an ambidextrous thumb stud and that honey jig bone to me is just absolutely beautiful. Um, it's got these brass little pins on it. And this is a back lock, and you'll see what I mean in a second. But look how thin that is. It's very, very, very thin. Only weighs three ounces. These particular Almar knives uh, are made in China. In the old days, they used to be made in Japan. Uh, maybe the quality of the blade was a little bit stronger, but quite frankly, this to me is more of a gentleman's style knife. I'm not going to be hacking any uh, wood on a camping trip with that. I got 300 other knives I could use for that. This is something that's meant to be, you know, slipped in the pocket, uh, carried discreetly, and, and used uh, for whatever you got to do. So to open it, and this is brand new, so it's a little stiff, you use this thumb stud, and you pull that out. Now you can hear with that beautiful click that it locks right into place. And this is a, a drop point blade. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit of fingerprints on it. Um, totally go gorgeous. It has a false edge across the top really really pointy so this is a very very stabby knife so this would this would do the trick for whatever you really needed to do and again very discreet and fits really nicely in your hand the weight of this is uh, again you know so light it's it's like nothing absolutely uh, a work of art uh so what i say three 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 and a half inch blade it's os8 steel stainless steel bolsters right there uh the leather pouch uh it's four inches closed so when we push on that back lock right there you get your fingers out of the way and you close it so it's four inches right there so that would fit in your pocket no problem so now let's try it in this little uh, pouch thingy here and yeah just fits right in there just like that so you can carry that around without it you know snagging on your clothing or or rooting the knife if you throw keys in the pocket or something like that you don't want to scratch this beauty so um, that's really cool and uh, the flaps open like this so you can pull it right out so very nice well thought out uh, what else could i say it's got a brass liner on the inside uh you can see it right there or maybe you can but trust me it does have a brass, a brass liner on the inside so the brass really goes good with the honey jig bone um you know the handle on that absolutely stunning it does have a little lanyard hole but i definitely wouldn't uh ruin the look of that with the lanyard so 
Um, that's it. Uh, Almar knife uh, uh, Falcon model. Totally, totally gorgeous in my opinion. This is, you know, it's an old-fashioned style knife. Uh, what could I say? Um, really, really beautiful. Um, totally in love with this. I'll be carrying this uh, for now on for the longest time. So, again, I just love it. Um, not going to do a sharpening test on it. I can just feel it. it's sharp as anything. And I'm pretty sure uh, the a AUS steel will, you know, hold an edge really, really nice. So, uh, quick look uh, at this beautiful knife. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Take care.